Coming up next, my five favorite under the radar tobacco perfumes. These are ones that you wouldn't necessarily uh, think, hey, this is tobacco like Royal Tobacco or Montabaco or a number of Oud Tobacco, famous kind of, you know, really hardcore tobacco fragrances. These are all a lot that you're gonna recognize because they're generally very popular, but they have an exquisite tobacco note in there that always, always gets me fired up. Find out what they are coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose here at Osme Perfumery and hope you're all having a good day. Thank you as always for watching. Thank you for your support. Today's video, as you heard from the introduction, is going to be about five fragrances that I really love and recommend that have a tobacco note that is not gonna be maybe the main featured note. So you're not going to exactly smell, hey, this is a tobacco, it smells like cigar, it smells like cigarettes, it smells, you know, a lot of people love those uh, fragrances, I love those, but these are gonna be ones where the tobacco is more subdued, but it's really in there, and if you really listen, or listen, if you really smell well, you're gonna, you're gonna pick it up, and it's especially good in how it just kind of blends in, especially in that middle note range, kind of combining the top notes with the base notes. So this is gonna be in no particular order. Uh, and I'm gonna start out first from Initio. This is Rehab, right? So Rehab, one of the most popular fragrances from Initio. People really love it. Uh, really great unisex perfume. And you know, if you look at the the notes, most people again are gonna uh, associate this one with the kind of the sandalwood, the white musk, the hedione, uh, bergamot. In fact, you won't even see a lot of times that note listed of tobacco. But it, again, in the dry down is where it really comes out. It gives it kind of a dryness, a little bit of a uh, just tobacco, especially when you think about the tobacco that's like a cigarette smell, it almost gives a little bit of a tinge of, of freshness. But Rehab, again, one of those fragrances that I thoroughly enjoy the tobacco note, even though it's not prominent. Next, this is one, a little another, this is gonna be a little bit under the radar from Memo Paris, which is uh, such a great house that I, you know what, I gotta talk about more, to be honest with you, because I think it's one of those, again, under the radar houses that a lot of people uh, don't always, you know, it doesn't get a lot of hype, even though the, the quality is so good. But this one is Lalibella. Lalibella, again, really good unisex fragrance here. Uh, equally good for men or women but it's that tobacco that, I picked this one almost up right from the beginning. And it just has a smooth quality, almost like the inside of, for example, a packet of cigarettes. This is, to me, doesn't come across as a tobacco that you would smell burning or smoke. It's like that inside of a tobacco. Have you ever smelled the inside of a uh, cigarette pack? It's almost sweet. Um, it's almost a little bit fresh. Uh, my mom, when I grew up, used to smoke, so I, I had that smell ingrained from the time I was like a little kid, even though I don't smoke myself, but Lalibella. Next, one of the newer fragrances that's very popular, that is Roja's Manhattan. Again, you look at this one, go look at the note breakdown. I'm not gonna bore you with the note breakdown. You can look it up, anybody can look it up. But the tobacco note here, again, is one that just gives it a, in this one, it gives a little bit of a, a spiciness. This tobacco, uh, to me, is not so much like the Lalibala one. It is got a little bit more of a, um, I wouldn't say, I'm not gonna say it's a, uh, a spite or a sweet quality, but I would say it gives it a little bit more of a spicy quality here. And again, one of those ones that I think it's used well to kind of help blend the top notes with the bottom notes. Excellent fragrance in its own right for whatever notes you're picking out in this fragrance. But again, tobacco. Didn't know it was in there. If you didn't know, it is. Next, let's go to the house of Widian. Haven't talked about them as much lately, but this is New York. This is an extrait de parfum. So this is a very high concentrated perfume. Uh, New York has always been one of my favorites. And I remember when I first smelled it, 
Again, I didn't necessarily, on as is the case with all five of these, I didn't necessarily pick out the tobacco note. It's something that you, in most of these, you gotta let it dry down, let it go through its compositional changes from the heart or the top notes to the heart notes. I picked this one up more in the bass um, as far as towards the end of the composition and the wearing is where the, the, the tobacco note comes in for me on this one. New York to me is almost like, almost like a little bit of a interesting straight version of a freshie. You know, usually freshies are gonna be a little bit more uh, like a eau de toilette or maybe an eau de parfum. So I, I like what they've done here is they've created a kind of fresh, spicy, very universal, universally appealing fragrance. And the tobacco note for me comes in at the bottom. And last but surely not least, uh, one of my favorite, favorite fragrance releases in the last six months from Roja again, and this is Apex. So we got two Rojas in here. Clearly, Roja's got a thing, uh, considering two of his latest and newest fragrance releases have tobacco in them. This to me screams 80s brought forward today. The 1980s era, Dracar Noir, Polo, those kind of like masculine fragrances. Tobacco, to me, typically leans more masculine, although, again, it can be sweet, it can be spicy, but when you're mixed in with a fragrance like this, the tobacco comes across as very masculine. It really adds masculinity to the other notes here. Very green fragrance, very um, kind of spicy, and just, again, it's like a modern interpretation for me of the classic 80s powerhouse fragrances. Again, that's Rosier, by the way, this is the Eau de Parfum. There is an extrait version or a Parfum version. This is the Eau de Parfum version. All right, so there you have it, guys. My five uh, favorite kind of under the radar tobacco fragrances where the tobacco is not the prominent note, but it's an excellent use of tobacco in that it's more subdued. It blends so well with the other notes. And it just, again, one of the best for me, my favorite fragrance notes out there. All right, I'll be back soon with another video, guys. Thank you for watching as always. Peace, love, and perfume.